Hey Dave, just more specifically about your, your injury, do you have any sense of um, the recovery, what it's going to take, what the what the rehab process is going to be? Do you have plans to just rest your your, your injury after this after you go home tonight? Um, I'm going to talk to my trainer, Ish, and see what that plan is. Uh, probably call me tomorrow, and we, and we figure that out. Um, but no, I, I don't. Uh, I know they were saying like a before when it first happened, 10 to 14 day injury is usually what it is with the groin, uh, grade one. So uh, after tonight, you know, um, after, you know, re-aggravating it, it, it you know, no, it's going to be another 14, whatever, but um, talk to him and tomorrow and just kind of see, you know, what the plan is. Well, AD, um, you started the year with Mark next to you at center, and then obviously uh, Drum came in part way through the year, and obviously there were you know tons of different looks in the front court. Um, going forward, what do you think is the ideal uh, kind of partner for you in the front court? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, we can switch it up. I mean, we had two bigs last year, Javel and Dwight. This year we had you know a stretch big and a big that plays in the paint. So, uh, you know, and then I could play either or. You know, we have, like, Mark, I was playing in the paint, um, and, and with Drum, I was playing on the perimeter. So, whatever, I think, you know, my ideal big is whatever works, whatever fits our team. Um, that, that's ideal for me. And, and, you know, we draw schemes and, and, and things like that to, to make it work. Yes. I mean, LeBron's numbers in the series still suggest that he was a highly effective player, but in what ways could you see once he returns, he was different than he was prior to the Atlanta injury? Uh, when he returned for? Like, like oh, this, this final stretch that he had oh, to play with the okay. guys. Yeah, yeah. Like, for pre solid Yeah. Um, I mean, he, he wasn't 100% healthy. Um, and I think you guys know that. And, uh, you know, he, he, he left it all on the floor, you know, especially tonight, um, trying to make play after play to help us get to a game seven. And um, I think he uh, he's also going to need that time to let the ankle um, fully heal. Uh, but it was more, you know, and especially when he first came back, uh, a lot of jump shots. Uh, I don't think, um, you know, trusting the ankle a lot. Um, you know, because everything you do, you know, he's, he's moving with the ankle. So, and he plays downhill and, and, and jumps and, you know, um, attacks and, and come off pick and rolls and do a lot of movement. So, um, his ankle has to be, you know, good. Um, but he was, like you say, he was still very effective for us, um, you know, when he came back. Uh, I think he left that Toronto game where it was bothering him. I could be wrong, but uh, when he came back the second time, um, you know, he was he was good. Um, and he went out there and did what he, everything he could to to uh, put us in a position to, to do something special. Um, you know, it just wasn't, you know, enough for, for our team, from for, you know, me, him, and, and everyone else. A quick follow-up, uh, your thoughts on Aaron Rodgers? Just kidding. Uh, I didn't look, I got chill. I didn't know what happened. I thought he got chill. No, 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 no. I don't good. know, man. I mean, uh... <laughs> I'm just joking. You don't have to Oh, oh okay. <laughs> the damn woman? The man who traded the Bears in the craziest oh. thing. They don't want him because they got field, so... I'll be sick. Uh, <laughs> um, I have to tell lost my train of thought real quick. The, uh... Now that this is your second postseason, kind of as a Laker, fully, you know, after two years, um, how, do you think you'll take a more active role in kind of those team building conversations? I know you were part of them before, but but do you feel even more comfortable now to uh, kind of have a fingerprint on the direction of this team? Uh, I felt comfortable, you know, this year and last year, um, and I think our uh, organization, Rob, you know, Kurt, front office, uh, leans on me and Bron a lot. Um, to have our input in those decisions. So 
Um, you know, when the time is right, when everybody kind of, you know, get over this dark cloud that's over us because we didn't end the season how we wanted, um, you know, we'll have those conversations. Uh, we let guys have a time to reflect on their season and on their future. Um, and we'll, you know, get together uh, as an organization and, and figure out um, what we want to do to get better. And um, we'll make those decisions from there. Mm -hmm. ED, when you're coming off an injury like this, season for the major leagues for you and other teammates, but for you specifically, will you change much of your off-season training regimen to try to hope, hopefully stay? It can keep you staying healthy the whole season. Um, my off-season, my off-season regimen is uh, pretty intense. Uh, like I say, this off-season I, I didn't get to be a part of what I normally do. Um, because of the shorter off season, but uh, usually um, when the season over, I get the month to just let my body, you know, heal, and then I'm going six weeks just straight weight training um, every day, um, and then you get to the basketball part uh, about a month and a half, maybe month, month and a half before training camp, because um, that kind of comes back easy. Um, so uh, you know, I think it's just. Uh, you know, like I said, it was an odd season for us. Um, our off season for me, um, I mentioned before, you know, you just try to battle of, you know, resting from a season and then getting ready for a season. But, uh, you know, I had that off season, you know, last summer. Uh, and was rarely injured last year, last season. So, um, and if it was, it, was, it wasn't it was anything significant. Um, you know, things that I was able to play through. So, um, you know, I'm excited to get back to my, you know, regular off-season programming, um, you know, and with, with my trainers and um, get ready for next year. Last three questions, Mike Trudell. Hey, yeah, real quick follow up on the strength training and stuff. Is there like an ideal weight you know, for you? Do you want do you want to be a little lighter? Do you want to be a little bigger for, for your body, all that? Have you been ironing that out at this point in your career? Um, I, I kind of just go with how I feel. Um, you know, I remember my fourth year when I was in New Orleans, maybe fifth year, um, I got to like, you know, this one I was like 235, and I ended up getting to like 250. And uh, I wanted to get bigger, but I, I felt heavy when I played, so I dropped down to like 240, 242. So it just depends how I feel. Like, you know, I train, I train, I train, and then, um, once I get on the floor, if I feel comfortable and feel uh, feel good, then you know I, I play at that weight um, because you're gonna drop weight when you play in season anyway. Your weight's gonna fluctuate, so uh, you know I don't really care about that. It's more about you know the strength. You know, is my strength still there? Um, and uh, like I say, um, it, it, it all depends on you know how I feel. So there's no specific number, um, but you know I also you know don't want to play heavy. Uh, but a number that I won't go past, uh, around like 255, I won't go lower than 255. Uh, and I played at 255 last year, around 262, 264 this year. So, um, you know, I won't go under 255, though. Uh, uh, and then I just want to ask you about offense. So when you came here, you mentioned LeBron, like it's got to be defense first. And the offense seems to always be able to get by with you and LeBron and half do you do you envision something moving forward, system wise, or some different actions? Like, what what do you think you guys can continue to do on that side of the court? Defensively. You said defensively. Sorry. Sorry, say that again. You said defensively. Oh, sorry. Offensively. Uh, offensively. Yeah, um, offensively. How you guys get involved? Yeah. I mean, we'll go back and I know me and Brian will for sure. I know the coaches will for sure too. Uh, go back and look at this series. Um, you know, this wasn't a great offensive series for us, um, and figure out actions that were effective. You know, with me and Brown in it, or um, together, or individually, um, and then continue to grow. You know, looking at the season overall, and you know where we were effective. Um, you know, this season, and even last year, what was effective for us, um, and get to that, and adding new new schemes and new plays. You know, coaches come up with new plays. Players think about you know new actions as they. Um, you know, can get involved in and watching other teams, and you think that's a good action for your team. So, 
Um, and it's also based on personnel, you know, the team that we have. Um, and so we'll we'll think about it, you know, when we get closer to, you know, uh, next season as far as, you know, schemes and, and plays and things like that for, for uh, me and Brown. That's two, Melissa Rowland. Hey, the uh, two questions for you. After giving it your all, Anything and everything you did feel on the court tonight. When you walked over to Keen's bench and sat on the ground and kind of put your head into your hands, what was going through your mind in that moment? And then, second of all, are you more looking forward to having a mental or a physical break coming into this offseason? Um, like I said, I was already uh, hurt, you know, coming to the game. And uh, when I, you know, jumped to block book shot, um, kind of just reactivated, and uh, I felt that I felt that same pain, you know, when I did it in Game Four. Um, and it was just like a, you know, at first it was just like a. Um, the first thought was like, "Fuck!" Like you know, I, I you know, you go out there and you try to give you all, and just give your team a chance. Um, and you feel like you let your team down. Um, Especially like a player of my caliber, you 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 know your team, you know, wants you on the floor, needs you on the floor, uh, and you you can't, you know. Um, obviously, they know that you tried or whatever, but um, you know, it was just that sense of, um, you know, you just wish you was on the floor to to help the troops. Um, so that was really it, and you know, all I was hearing was you know the guy saying, "We got you, we got you, hey, we got you, we got you." So um, that was like. You know, good for me um, to hear. Um, but um, for your next question, I'm looking for both. Um, you know, you really, I, you know, none of us really had a break <laughs> from last season. So to physically, you know, take a break and get a chance to physically get back um, where I've, you know, been uh, and where I need to be, and then you know, mentally just taking a break and uh, getting back where I need to be mentally to prepare for next season. So. Uh, I'm looking for both. I'm looking for both, and uh, like I said, I'm excited for the break, but I'm also excited to get ready for next season and uh, and show people and show the world, you know, why we are who we are, and um, that last year wasn't a fluke, and, and and you know we will be back. Last question, Mark Martin. Okay, so AD, LeBron said he kind of puts this whole season from the day you entered the bubble to today with it all ending. Uh, I know you said it was draining emotionally, mentally, but if you can reflect back on this whole roller coaster journey from entering the bubble that a day, to winning the championship and the tears of joy that you had on that day, to everything you went through this season and now today. Like you said, you use a perfect word, roller coaster. Um, it's up and down. Uh, you know, having a good season, stopping with the hiatus and you know, three months off, go to the bubble. I'm not sure what's going on. Whole bubble to start was like a fiasco, it was just everywhere. You know, it was new to everybody. And, um, you know, fast forward to the championship, you know, going through everything um, and, and, and being able to win it all. Um, and then having a short off season and, and trying to do it all over again. And, you know, guys, you know, get hurt. We don't get our full team. Uh, just an up and down season, you know, just up and down season and uh, both seasons, to be honest. Uh, you know, last year started with China, just going up and down from there. And then, you know, this season, you know, with the whole COVID thing was something totally new for us. The guys getting COVID in and out of the lineup, guys injured in and out of the lineup. So it was just all up and down for us. And we, you know, we obviously try to stay even kill because um, you can never get too high or low in this league. But, um, like I say, it just didn't work out in our favor this year, and uh, you know, guys are going to get you know ready for next season. Um, but it was just up and down, and, and um, you know, all we ask that, that guys you know leave it out there on the floor, uh, which a lot of us did, and um, 